In today's video, I want to talk about how you can transition a scene in your manga creations. My first tip for transitioning a scene in a manga is to leave the scene on an open end. So when you're creating the previous scene in your manga, leave it open-ended so that you have a good idea of where the scene should be going next. For example, even the previous scene, you're ending it with your characters needing to go to a certain location, it would make sense for your characters to be in that location in the next scene. So when you're ending the previous scene in your manga, see if you have left it open-ended in a way where you can see where the scene should go next in the next scene you draw. My second tip is show the background. Use a large or a small panel in order to show the background of the next scene. This helps to set the scene in your manga and it's a good way to transition into the next scene so your audience knows exactly where it's taking place. For example, if your character has changed location and they're now in a different building or a different location, you can show this picture in the top corner of your page, either in a wide panel if you need to show this background in a lot of detail, or in simply a small panel that can be used to begin to set the scene. My third tip is use diagonal boxes. Sometimes when I'm drawing my manga and I want to transition into the next scene, I'll draw some diagonal boxes that will help me to shift it into the next scene. It's a way of kind of creating a bit of transition and also breaking it up from the previous scene so it feels like the scene is now taking place in a different location. I also like to use this technique when the character is waking up from a dream. My fourth tip is use the same expression. One thing you can also do is you can show your character with one expression in the previous scene and then show them in the next scene in a different location with the same expression. So it kind of feels like a movie transition where you're showing the character at the end of one scene with a particular phase and then you're showing this character now in a different location but they still have the same expression. It can just feel like a more clean transition when you're taking your character from one scene to the next scene. My fifth tip is flow into the next scene straight away. Keep in mind that you don't have to necessarily end one scene and then start the next scene on a completely different note. You can actually just flow straight from the previous scene into the next scene. So basically, if your character is walking straight into the next scene, where maybe in one scene they're walking from one place to the other and then the next scene they walk into it, then you can flow the scene right from one scene to the next scene. My sixth tip is show your character using an object or an item. For example, maybe your character is reading a book at the start of the scene and that's a good way to bring the scene in. Maybe your character is reading a book and they're at the library. And so by showing your character reading a book, it can help to set the scene and tell your audience where the moment is taking place. And finally, my seventh tip is show the time of day if you need to be really specific with where the scene is taking place. For example, if you're showing an event in the past, then it might be helpful to show at the top of the page, say five years ago or something like that, to really let your audience know that this scene is happening in the past. Or if you really want to be specific with the time or the date a scene is occurring, you can include that date or that time at the top of the page. For this type of scene transition, I recommend using it if you want to be really specific with where the scene with where and when the scene is taking place. So thank you so much for watching my video today, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what kind of scene transitions you like to use in your manga or comic, because I'd really love to hear about it. If you want to see more courses or extended lessons, make sure to visit my course website, midnightxcross.com courses. Or if you want to see resources and templates, you can visit my website, midnightxcross.com. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!